How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome back to our Terraria 1.3 Expert Mode Let's Play. So, last episode, we just managed to defeat Skeletron, and he was a tough boss indeed. So now we can make our way down into the depths of the dungeon. And it looks... What on earth is this? It looks like the corruption has... <laughs> Well, l luckily we can mine through it. It looks like the corruption has generated over the dungeon. That is, I've never seen this before. So, I'm assuming if we bomb enough down, we should be able... <gasps> what if we don't have a dungeon? That's Surely that's not possible, right? Wow. This is crazy. Oh no, here we go. Oh, guys, I just had like a heart attack moment then. That would have been so sad. What would we have done? No dungeon. Okay, that, I can't get over that. That is so random. Okay, so anyway, so we're making our way into the dungeon to see what we can find. Now, as always, my favorite item is the cobalt shield. It's a must have. You know, get yours today. It avoids knockback, which is a real killer in Terraria. And from what I can tell from the Skeletron fight, uh, knockback's a, a big a big thing they've used to increase the difficulty. Because Skeletron used knockback a lot against me just then. And it did almost get me killed. So, yeah. But that's okay. So, I will be picking up a few furniture items along the way. But don't worry, it's not going to be all furniture all the time. Um, I'll come back uh, off camera and get the rest of the stuff. So, we need to get some golden keys if we're going to uh, open all these lovely golden chests in here. Uh, also, not going to. I'm not too sure what the best weapon's going to be in here. The B gun might actually lack damage to destroy a lot of these enemies. We might also, like, shoot a few bees out and then uh, use the boomstick as a finisher. So, like, a bit of a one-two punch. So, get the bees on them for knockback and then, yeah, finish them off with the boomstick. Actually, that seems to be working pretty well. Alright. And we're... I'm in... Whoa! Now, we've got the new bone glove and I'm interested to see how strong it actually is. So, it throws the enchanted bones. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is quickly getting out of... Whoa! Oh my gosh. This is quickly getting out of hand here. <laughs> Get him, bees. Look at all the... Gee, this would be a great farming spot. Is there a water... Ca There's not even a water candle active. Are you kidding me? Holy moly. I might need some more musket balls, too. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh. Ah! <laughs> I've got to run for it. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Because it might have the go cobalt shield. All right. Fingers crossed. Well, actually... Oh, what's that? Oh, a naser! Yes, yes, yes! So cool. Oh, my gosh. That's so awesome. <laughs> I've never gotten a Nazar so early. Oh, Dungeon Slime. Ah, a Miramaza. That's like a... A really buffed up... Um... Katana. And we have to kill this Dungeon Slime. The spawn rate is just out of control there. Oh, it's one of the new... Is this the Alchemy Table? Yes! So good. So, so good. Uh, so my understanding, and I haven't used it yet, is that the alchemy table... Oh, more mobs. The alchemy table can give you a chance of not using up... 33% not to use potion ingredients. That is amazing. I'm, uh, quite excited about that one. Am I out of healing potions? Oh my gosh. Okay, this is... Not good. <laughs> uh, I might start picking up some of those red potions on the shelves then. Beautiful. And we can pick up some hearts. We'll, we'll be okay. <laughs> I think. Alright. What's in this one? Oh, yes! Cobalt shield! 
So good. Oh, but the question is, what are we going to remove? I think for now, I'll swap out the cloud in the bottle. Okay, let's uh, let's open this chest here and see what's inside it. Ah, magic missile. It's a, uh, it is a, it's a nice quick magic weapon, but I don't actually use it for the magic. Oh my gosh, I'm throwing bombs around. Um, I don't really use it that much because I, I find the utility of it a little bit. Like, I think it disintegrates as soon as it hits something. Let's test it out. Is uh, something going to spawn here? I had no trouble with monsters spawning before. Yeah. So, like, it's good, but... Um, I guess the magic damage is nice if you just use it as a projectile. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll keep it and we'll use it if we need it. Okay, here's another... Cursed Skull. Let's uh, run away from him. And here we are back at base after our dungeon adventure. And we've been doing pretty good. Um, now I was just looking at our planting boxes and some new ones should be available now we've defeated... Uh, who did we just fight? Skeletron! <laughs> so, uh, so Moonglow, Daybloom, just trying to make out which ones I've got. So, we need to do some preparation for... Don't have the Shiverthorn ones. We need to do some preparation water leaf. That's the one I need. Few things I want to get done before we enter hard mode. Now, one of them is something that I've never really done before hard mode because it's not necessary, but I really want to do it this time. And that's actually make an artificial... Um, uh, jungle biome underground near our base and I'm going to build it for the pure purpose of harvesting life fruit I don't normally bother with this because the jungle's not too bad but in this playthrough the sooner we can get to max life I think the better um, so that's going to be something another thing is perhaps getting our arena set up a bit better before we enter hard mode especially because we'll want to fight the pirates and get the pirate staff nice and early. Uh, that's a really good summon. So, I've also done a few things. I've added a active weapons box to this area. And it's weapons that we may use. Um, they're still strong enough to be valid. Still got the b -nades. Not sure about the necro set. The armor is a bit less than our shadow. Um, but it does give you 15% extra range damage. So, just trying to work out if that's something we're going to need. Also, our planting's coming along great. We've got tons of seeds. And as I was saying, yeah, we'll set up a jungle biome. We'll also get a mushroom grass uh, biome started too. Now, I haven't got a depth meter to set up our underground jungle biome. And this is directly underneath our base, if you're wondering. But what you can do, see how the background is like a sort of a medium brown colour? You can tell when you're at the cavern layer, see how... This area is grey, it's more of a greyish and that's more of a brown. Um, when you're at cavern layer it goes to this grey colour. And in hard mode at this depth is where enemies will start to drop things like souls. Um, so that means we can use this as a jungle farm but also as... Um, what am I talking about? Also as a soul farm, I can turn it into a mimic farm. So it can be a bit of everything which is great. So I've got one mining potion, it's my only one for now because I haven't done much fishing yet but that's okay so as always I'm going to speed this up guys and I'll see you on the other side <laughs>
What I've been doing is just reducing the area or sort of removing all the extra blocks. And yeah, I'm just putting mud platforms with three blocks apart. And I'm just putting one jungle grass seed in each one. And the reason for that is like, I don't need it for quite a while still. And I'm quite happy for the seeds just to grow slowly um, over the next, you know, it'll probably be a couple of hours before we get up to the point where we'll need um, life fruit in game. So I'm quite happy for them just to slowly grow and take their time. And this will, I'm quite happy with this, it'll be a good little farm later in the game. The critical thing is, and I could probably even shorten these again, I've got a gap and they're not touching the walls. Uh, that's because Hallow and Crimson can and Corruption can jump. I also removed the walls because I don't know about these walls, but some walls can become corrupted and hallowed and it can spread through walls. So I removed those extra wall parts as well. So we've got a quest reward to hand in here and we got some sonar potions, which is kind of cool. Um, they are reasonably useful. So the thing I like about them is you can kind of, you know, you can be fishing and not have to you know, worry about catching so many bass. And I guess it makes your bait last a bit longer. So you can just chill out. You know, I can see that that's a bass. And yeah, you just don't reel it in. I thought you'd lose your bait if you didn't reel the fish in. But yeah, you can literally just wait and... Yeah, sort of wait until something good pop comes up, like a, a wooden crate or an iron crate. Um, so yeah, although... My only issue with it is it does make fishing <laughs> even a little bit more boring than it already is. Um, because, yeah, you're literally not doing anything. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, I guess it's up to you if you use your sonar potions. So I've got a fair bit of bait at the moment. Um, I'm just going to do a bit of fishing and see if we can catch some more crates for hard mode. So the preparation continues. The next thing we're going to get set up on this beautiful night is actually look at starting our surface mushroom biome. And as always, I'm going to build it slightly away from my base. And the reason for that is it tends to be the sort of biome that sort of can take things over a bit. It's a very, uh, it overlaps purity and a lot of other biomes very easily. And, oh, let's get it started. Let's put a mushroom lamp in. We may as well have a bit of fun with this now. How many mushrooms have we got? 19. Can I make a table? Oh yeah, there are 8. And how about the mushroom chair? How much is that? 4. Okay, can I get one last thing? The candelabra. Oh yeah? We're gonna mush this out. Big time. So let's put the table. And the chair and the candelabra and this should actually be suitable now beautiful so we have our truffles house right at the top there done so we've got our jungle biome set up we've got our mushroom surface biome ready for the future and i'll kill this zombie <laughs> let's move on to our next job so our next goal is to continue our elevator that had to stop short abruptly because we hit this massive uh, water patch here. 
But what I'm actually going to do is just dig through it today. Well, here we are, deep in the underworld, and I'm kind of, I'm happy we've made it, you know, expert mode's not easy, and we've made it all the way down to the depths of the underworld, and I love the new backgrounds, they look amazing. And luckily, we picked up a shadow key in the Howling Bow. We picked up a shadow key in the dungeon, so... We can actually open one. I normally don't have a shadow key, so it's kind of cool. Now, oh, I think I, I've still got some arrows. Wow, it actually shoots bats. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, let's just see if I can get this equipped. All right, beautiful. That's not bad. I like the rapid attack. Oh, it's shooting jester arrows now. That... Do you know what, guys? This weapon might be pretty good against Wall of Flesh. So with Jester Arrows, which do piercing, I mean, look how fast it's shooting. And it doesn't even have a modifier on it yet. I, I don't mind that. Wooden Arrows turn into Flaming Bats. Okay, so it even lights arrows. Cool weapon, cool weapon. I'm impressed. So, I guess our only real goal is just to start building the inevitable platform that you need against the Wall of Flesh. Um, yeah, you just, just build it. I've brought along tons of dirt and tons of stone that have just amassed throughout our adventure here. Another thing will be to grab some of this Hellstone. And thank you to all the people that said it's... I used to go into the buildings and try and mine it through the walls. And some of you have just said to me, well, why don't you just drink an obsidian skin potion? Oh my gosh, I'm getting owned. Drink obsidian skin potion and just jump in the lava. <laughs> and it makes it makes so much sense. Like, why wouldn't you do that? Ah, oh. We're going to need an armor upgrade, I think. We're getting smashed. So, yeah, this is all we've got to do now is... Oh my gosh. Ouch, ouch, ouch. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I knew that was coming. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, looks, well, if we're dying now and it's not even hard mode, we've got a bit of powering up to do still. Um, maybe even our accessories need to become warding ones just for the start of hard mode. We'll just have to see. So here we are back in the uh, underworld. And I think before I get too excited building my um, uh, Wall of Flesh arena, I think I need to perhaps get some Hellstone and look at upgrading my armor a bit. And even making some new rooms for the Goblin Tinker uh, so we can get uh, some reforges on our equipment. So, to that end, I'm going to... Oh, what just hurt me? Sly... Oh, no way! That's pretty cool. Uh, it looks like uh, lava slimes drop lava when you kill them now. That's, that's a pretty tough feature. I like that. And thank you very much, as always, for watching another episode of... I almost said Serena the Summoner because I'm using Serena. Um, thank you for watching another episode of our 1.3 Expert Mode Let's Play. Um, I can't wait. Next episode. I'm feeling it, guys. We're going to fight the Wall of Flesh. And it's going to be awesome. And look, I don't know what to expect. These hard mode bosses are so much fun to fight. Um, I just want to say a quick thank you as well. We Our channel just reached 40,000 subscribers, guys. Um, and girls. <laughs> um, I, I can't believe it. Like, um, I'm really grateful to all of you for, yeah, being part of our channel. And, you know, jumping on every day and having a chat. And I just love... I love being part of this channel and 
hanging out with you all. And yeah, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And yeah, look, I, I guess, you know, our big next milestone is 50,000. And I've got something really awesome planned for you. So let's see how quick we can get there. Like, what? let's not muck around. Let's just get there. Um, so yeah, you know, let your friends know about us and, and share these videos if uh, you think someone will enjoy them. And uh, let's get there and have our big, amazing cookie party and let's just go for it. <laughs> All right, it's time for shout outs as always, now that I've had a big DM with you. Um, so we've got Demon's Ball 1212 has asked me to say, it's easy to imagine, but it's easier just to do. If you can't do what you imagine, then what's imagination to you? I like that one. That's, that's really cool. That's, that's really cool. You know, if you can think it, then why don't you just do it? You know, like a lot of people go, oh, I wish I could do that. And, you know, it's surprising. Like if you just give it a go, it's amazing what you can achieve in this world, guys. It's amazing what you can achieve. All right, we've got Gaming with Dan, who's asked me to say a very happy birthday to his amazing sister, Jackie. So, happy birthday to you, Jackie. Have a great birthday. <laughs> and Dan, that's really awesome. You uh, got that awesome shout out for your sister. How cool. All right, we've got Zach Alexander, who's asked me to say, Tom is a llama, Obama llama, llama, llama. And I... <laughs> Llama. Llamas are cool. Um, I don't know if any of you have seen, there's like a llama song on YouTube, and it's like, one, oh, how's it go? There's a llama in a car, a llama, two, a taste of llama, something llama. It's, um, it just says llama over and over again. It's, it's pretty funny. Um, I tried to sing it, but it's too hard. Okay, we've got Jacob Gaming has asked me to say happy backwards. Happy backwards? It's like, yappa. Yappa. It doesn't, yeah. <laughs> Your pa. And to finish us off, we've got Shelby McMillan has asked me to say brown chicken, brown cow, but I don't just say it like that. I've got to say it like that. Bow chicka wow wow. I think that's off a song. So I've got to go brown chicken, brown cow. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> brown chicken, brown cow. <laughs> okay, guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed this episode of our Expert Mode playthrough. And keep those keep those comments coming and, you know, all those tips and suggestions because I need your help. We're about to hit Expert Mode. I don't know what we're going to run into, you know. If you've got any tips for me, if you've already done an Expert Mode playthrough, give me some tips. Like, we've done a few things. You know, we're going to have our bridge ready next episode. We're going to fight that wall of flesh. If you can give me any tips for the fight, put them in the comments. And uh, yeah, look, you know, as always, I always end my videos with this. It's very important to me. You know, I want you guys to stay happy and I'll see you next time. And this is Happy Do signing out. See ya. And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides, the mimics can get in which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. Just, just oh he's got 3,000 health! He's only got 3,000! <laughs>